all this equipment here, uh, which uh, Macomb has installed, is equipment that is almost identical to what uh, the automakers are currently using. And uh, the automakers helped to install, design the equipment. Natalie here is a student. Uh, you've been, how long in the program? Five weeks. Five weeks. So uh, a 10-week program is going to allow Natalie to be able to operate and uh, maintain one of these robots. And because the automakers have confidence that Natalie is getting trained really well, uh, at the end of 10 weeks, there will be a jobs fair, and she's likely to be hired uh, because the automakers know that she knows what she's doing. And so far, we've had uh, 14, yeah, in, uh, uh, 1,400? 1,400 in uh, two previous grants. And now we're going out for uh, an additional 500 students, and we are replicating the exact same thing. Right. So we're, we're looking at a couple thousand students who've been trained, hired, had good paying jobs uh, through this program. It's been supported by uh, a federal grant that we've been giving. Uh, and uh, Macomb is a great example of how when job training programs and community college programs are structured around the needs of employers, not only can we make the, uh, the period of the course shorter, but it also means that they're much more likely to be hired. So, great example of uh, the kind of job training that we want to replicate in community colleges all across the country. Plus, Natalie is really <laughs> smart, you can tell. And actually, Natalie was referred to a big supplier of equipment called Puka. And they told she was looking for a job, and they said, go to this training, and uh, they'll give you the skill set. See? So that's the industry and us working together to make things Excellent. happen. Good job. All right, come on, let's get a picture with Natalie. <laughs> Pete, you ready? Come on, squeeze it. Come on, everybody. I'll have a weird listening. Okay. <laughs> come on.